4,000 police and soldiers raided one of Ecuador's most infamous prisons in the port city of Guayaquil to detain Adolfo Macias, alias Fito. The leader of the country's most powerful drug syndicate, the Chorneros, is serving a 32-year sentence for murder and was taken to a nearby maximum security prison on the orders of President Guillermo Lasso. Authorities say they suspect Fito's involvement in Thursday's murder of presidential candidate Fernando Villavicencio, who had recently received death threats from him. <laughs> Hours after the raid, and from the very same prison, members of the Chonero gang posted this video on social networks, warning the president not harm their leader for the well-being of Ecuador. Thousands of people will die straining the people of Ecuador with blood because of your bad decisions. In the capital, Villavicencio's widow accused the government of holding back information. The state is directly responsible for the murder of my husband. The state still has to give many answers about everything that happened. His personal guards did not do their job. Experts in organized crime say it has penetrated the highest levels of the Ecuadorian state. We have to ask ourselves, are the intelligence services unable to identify this penetration in all the institutions of power, or do they know about it but do nothing? I believe it's the former. The president, who called snap elections for next Sunday in a bid to avoid an impeachment trial, says he's doing all he can. But the detention of an already imprisoned drug lord will not be enough to ease people's fears. Ecuadorans are demanding that the government guarantee security, not just for candidates, but for voters and in fact for the entire electoral process. A process that has raised questions about the ability of any candidate to confront the seemingly uncontrollable expansion of crime and corruption. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Quito, Ecuador. Well, earlier my colleague Kerry Johnston spoke to Manuel...